Okay, can we have the instructors to their stations for the Seattle Workshop Thunderdome? It's the Thunderdome. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's, uh, the topic is Dream Devourer. So I'm having this weird uh, octopus tentacle monster kind of grasping this woman's head. For me anyway, that's my favorite way to make something scary, is to have it disturbing and appealing at the same time, which just gives it another layer of, of creepiness. Since I have such a short deadline, my goal is to first make the, the, the image readable and then use the rest of my time to just polish it. This way I can stop at any point and say it's done. Chan's prize is a hug from El Coro! For example, like one way you know that a color is an, op is an opposite is if, say, you stare at something that's green for a long time, and then you look away, and then there's that ghost image you see. Um, I think the ghost image is usually the opposite color. So if you stare if you stared at something green, you would see a red. And when you put the two opposites together, it creates uh, a focal point because the colors clash so, so much that you automatically kind of pay attention to it. Right now it looks like a child's body. <laughs> she just killed a bunch of kids walking down the, the hallway. Armored kids. Not like a monkey or something. Hopefully you'll be able to use these tricks and make some, some quick sketches and some quick sketches to impress your clients and uh, get your your images approved and take those and take them to final. And hope you had fun watching and hope you learned some, some good techniques.